I practice in New York City at a large academic medical center. Uh, in my role as the director of clinical cardiology, I oversee both the inpatient and the outpatient care of the general cardiology patients, but obviously intersect very closely with the other subspecialties, heart failure, electrophysiology, cardiac cath. In our experience, or in our practice, we view everyone as a target for screening for sleep apnea. In the general clinical cardiology practice, particularly in the ambulatory practice, our patients come with high blood pressure, with atrial fibrillation, with heart failure, and those are the conditions that we know that are intimately connected to the underlying sleep apnea. Approximately two years ago, we did initiate a program for routine sleep apnea screening among our ambulatory patients. As with any new process, we started slowly, deliberately, to try to iron out the bugs and make sure that we had a smooth and streamlined process. Over the course of time, we've been very impressed with the ease of use of the Itamar WatchPad device and how that has fostered patient adherence. We really have not had many complaints where patients say, I got the device, I couldn't use it, and that has helped us to have a very high capture rate in terms of the sleep apnea detection. As we move towards the second phase of initiating uh, outcomes evaluation of what we've been doing, uh, we've been noticing that the patients who are using CPAP have noticed a significant improvement in their quality of life. I think the main obstacle that we initially encountered when we started uh, was increasing awareness among cardiologists that we as cardiologists could effectively screen for sleep apnea. When we started the program, we deliberately started slowly to make sure that we could iron out any of the bugs or the kinks. And we were effective, I think, at persuading our colleagues that our, car that our cardiology colleagues, even though we're not sleep medicine specialists, even though we're not pulmonologists, we could effectively screen for sleep apnea. And that makes our jobs as cardiologists more effective if we can treat the underlying sleep apnea. 25, 30 years ago, it was common for cardiologists to refer patients with hyperlipidemia to a specialist, to an endocrinologist. Nowadays, most general cardiologists feel very comfortable managing lipid disorders. And our vision was that we could transform sleep apnea screening to a similar kind of position, that cardiologists would feel comfortable identifying patients who are at risk for sleep apnea, and that we could provide an effective screening mechanism that would facilitate those clinicians screening patients for sleep apnea. That's what we were very fortunate to partner with Itamar and with the WatchPad as the linchpin for that process. What we did then is we identified a questionnaire that could either be self-administered to the patients in the waiting room or to identify for our fellow clinicians some of the patient risk factors to identify patients who are at high risk for having obstructive sleep apnea. Once that questionnaire became positive, in other words, when the patients had a high score, that questionnaire essentially became the documentation that formed the basis for the referral to the sleep apnea program. Most of our patients across a broad spectrum of demographics have found it easy to utilize the device. We get the report back fairly quickly, either by uh, e-fax or a cloud referral, and then they automatically refer the patient themselves internally to a sleep medicine specialist who can then begin the process of advising the patients on the impact of their sleep apnea test and initiating a treatment program.